And now this morning. This should have happened to nobody's kid. It was a baby. He was my baby. A Windsor family is making an emotional and heartbreaking plea for answers. 16 year old Felipe Lopez was shot and later died in the north end of Hartford yesterday morning. Now an investigation is underway into what led up to his death. Channel 3's Evans Amaris joins us live now from the LP Wilson Community Center in Windsor, where grief counselors will be available there today. Eva. Well, good morning to you both. We've learned that Lopez was a student within the district these past couple of years. We've also learned that there will be grief counselors here as well as at the high school. Now these extra resources are in place to help students process what happened yesterday. He was a good kid, a father, a son, a boyfriend, a brother, a nephew, a good friend to a lot of people. Fighting back tears, Alma Lopez described how her son, 16-year-old Felipe Lopez, will always be remembered just hours after his death. Hartford police say they were called to the 800 block of Albany Avenue shortly before 1 Wednesday morning. When they got there, Hartford police found the teenager inside a crashed car. He had been shot several times. Hartford police say he was rushed to St. Francis Hospital, but the 16-year-old died soon after that. He would have been 17 on Friday. Nearly 24 hours later, more than 100 of his family and friends were back at the crash site mourning his death. We're close, but we're broken. Our hearts are broken. Hartford police are now investigating Lopez's death as a homicide. They'll be looking at everything from his car to his cell phone and cameras in the area, trying to piece this all together. In the meantime, his family is pleading with the public. They're hoping anyone with any information about what happened to give police a call right away. Hartford police maintain this is still very much an active and ongoing investigation. There are still many unanswered questions. Now, be sure to stay with us, not only on air, but of course on our Channel 3 app for the very latest on this story. Live in Windsor this morning, I'm Eva Zamaris, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.